I'm Sherry Lambert, and today what we're going to be doing, along with Letitia Frazier, who is a freshman occupational therapy assistant student at Panola College, we are working together to help the rest of the class better understand manual muscle testing. So Letitia has offered to help out with the videos, and i got Ty in the back working on the camera, and some other folks in here just watching. So what we want to do is make it, try to make it easy for everybody, is to do some demonstrations about manual muscle testing so that everybody has a chance to like look at it at their own pace, stop the recording, um, maybe test yourselves, quiz yourselves over what you think the proper positioning would be or proper sequence would be for manual muscle testing. So we're just going to start at the shoulder and work our way down. Okay, any questions? No, I'm just ready to get going. Ready to get going, okay. All right, so I'm going to do the, the first time we do this, I'm going to go ahead and walk through the entire scenario just like the grading form has so that you guys can get an idea for that. Okay, so just sit back and relax. So, um, Ms. Tish, what brings you to the clinic today? Well, I had an accident in the bathtub. I fell and hurt my shoulder. Oh, wow. Which shoulder? My right shoulder. Are you right-handed? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, occupational therapy, do you know what occupational therapy is? No, I sure don't. Okay. Well, one of the, probably why your doctor sent you over is because you're having some trouble with your arm that's affecting you, some things that are happening every day for you, right? Yes. Okay. What I'm going to, I'm going to be real interested in those things. I'm going to want you to list them out, talk to me about them, okay. and together you and I will figure out how to get you back to being more independent. Okay. okay. So tell me something that you're having trouble with just as a result of that arm. Well, I'm having trouble with cooking. Okay. And riding. All right. And, and you're right-handed, you said. Yes. Okay. And driving. So when you say cooking, I mean, do you cook for your, do you live alone? Do you cook for yourself? What's that like? Well, me, my husband and my kids. You have kids? Yes. How old? Ten and seven. Ten and seven. So do they kind of help mom around the house, or how does that work? No. Not too much? No. So you actually yeah, responsible I'm, for? I'm responsible for all the cooking and washing dishes. Does that include breakfast? No. Like what's the major meal? What's the major cooking meal for you? Uh, supper. Supper. Okay. And what do you usually do? Give me an idea. Like is it elaborate or just a couple of things or kind of give me an idea for that? Kind of. Just a, maybe a, just a couple of things. Not too Like, like what's your specialty? Baked chicken. Baked chicken. Okay. Well, let's not talk about that because I haven't eaten lunch yet, so we won't get too much into that. Okay. Uh, so the kids are seven and ten. ten. Mm -hmm. And then your husband, is he here all the time? Yes, but he's working in the evening. So. He's got an evening shift, so it's yes. just you and the kids in the afternoon? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So you said driving. Yes. Um, where, do you, where do you drive to on a like, daily basis? or? Well, school, and then I drive to work. Okay. Where do you work? I work in Longview with General Dynamics. And that is a... Help me know what that is. It's like a company uh, where I solder electronic parts on the, on the little circuit boards. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do you have trouble? Are you still being able to do your job with the no. injury? So you're off a little bit from right now? work, yes. Okay, so I know you're probably getting ready to get, get back to that too as well. Right? Yes. Okay. Well, let's take a look. One of the things we're going to do, just kind of as, as a baseline today, kind of be different from the rest of the therapy days, I'll, I want to do some take some measurements so that we can see how much you're progressing okay. uh, from, from week to week. You'll probably come in, I think, did your physician say two times a week or three times a week? Three times a three week. Three times a week, great. So so we're going to have some uh, some real increments for improvement, we hope. But okay. we, we're not going to know that until we until we get our baseline data, though. So let's do that right now. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to demonstrate some things for you to do. Okay. okay. I'm just going to get an eyeball about how much you can move. So put your hands down to the side and kind of move your feet back. Get, okay. Can you sit up kind of a little bit more to the edge of the chair? Perfect. Just like that. All right. Now just, um, you said it's that right arm, right? Yes. First thing I want you to do is just bring it up like this for me. Ready? Okay, that looks great. Okay, let me. I'm going to come to you now, and I'm going to get you to. Um, I'm going to get you to put your arm here, okay? And I want you to hold that right there. Don't let me move you, okay? Okay. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Wow, you are really strong. Okay, good. Okay, so you can ease that one down. Okay. So that would be the demonstration of manual muscle test for shoulder flexion. Okay. Let me show you again. Halfway point. Resistance is just above, just proximal to the elbow. And I'm asking her just to hold it. All right. All right. So resistance right there, and I'm gradually creeping up my resistance, and I'm making sure that her, she is sitting straight up in a kind of a 90, 90, a little bit more than 90 at the knees. That's okay. And she's keeping her trunk straight. Okay, relax. So now let's demonstrate what that would look like. Let's say if she did not have full range of motion. Okay. 
So, Ms. Letizia, could you, let me stay right there. Let's demonstrate that, what that would look like now that she didn't have full range of motion. Okay, so can you raise that arm up for me like that? Is that about all you can do there? Yes. Can't go any further? Does it feel like it's weak to you? Yes, it's stiff. Okay, okay. So we'll ease it back down. Let's ease it back down. Okay. So let's, um, tell you what, let's take a trip over to the mat over here. And we'll see what that looks like. Okay. I need you to lay down, if you were facing the mat, with your head here and arm up on the table. We have your right arm, right? Okay, so I need your head down here, head this way, lay on your left side. Just like that. Can you use your left hand to prop your... There you go. Can you scoot down just a little bit more for me down this way? That a girl. Just like that. Okay. So, what I want to see, Ms. Letitia, what I'm looking at is, I'm looking to see if you can... How far you can move this arm if I take some of the weight off of it. Okay, so we're going to use the table just to prop it on. Okay, okay you can relax. Okay, I'm just going to bring it down here. Okay, okay. I'm going to bring your arm all the way down. Okay. And what I want you to do is try to take, make the sweep like this and move it up on your own power all the way up as far as you can. Okay, okay, ready? Mm -hmm. See if you can do that for me all the way up as far as you can, as high as you can. All off the table if you can. Good job. Okay, well, okay, is that okay? Mm -hmm. All right, just come back right here and rest for me. Okay, so at this point we would know that your muscle grade is poor, right? Yes. Because you can make the full range of motion against gravity. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Okay, now what if, what if I'd ask you to make that motion and it just wouldn't budge? And I put you on the table here and it's, can you make that motion? And you try and just nothing happens, okay? If we're testing for shoulder flexion, I'm going to test your anterior deltoid right here. I'm going to put my hand here and ask you to try and make that motion again. Really struggle. Okay. I felt a little bit.